And here is the Writer's Almanac for Tuesday, March the 17th, St. Patrick's Day, 2020. St. Patrick's Day, feast day, celebrating patron saint of Ireland, St. Patrick, born in Wales. He was 16 when a group of Irish pirates came to the village and took some of the young men, including him, back to Ireland as slaves. He worked for six years as a herdsman, then escaped, went back to Wales. But he heard a voice telling him to go back to Ireland and convert the Irish to Christianity, which is what he did after spending 12 years in France. He went to Ireland, founded monastery schools and churches. And so New York City and other cities put on St. Patrick's Day parades. New York is the largest, 150,000 marchers going up Fifth Avenue, led by the 69th Infantry Regiment. New York has been parading on St. Patrick's Day since 1762, Boston since 1737, and Dublin since 1995. It was on this date in 1959 that the Dalai Lama, Tenzin Gyatso, the 14th Dalai Lama, fled Tibet for India. China had invaded Tibet in 1951 and brought the country under China's rule. There was a resistance movement in Tibet, and when Tibetans believed the Chinese were plotting to kidnap the Dalai Lama, Hundreds of thousands of them surrounded his summer palace in Lhasa to protect him. And soon after, in 1959, the Dalai Lama departed on foot with an entourage of 20 men. Soon after that, the Chinese tore down his summer palace. They executed his bodyguards, looted and burned many religious texts, and installed a new spiritual leader, the Panchen Lama, who was pro-Chinese and the rival of the Dalai Lama. The Dalai Lama settled in India in Dharamsala, along with 80,000 Tibetans in exile. It's the birthday of the playwright Paul Green, born near Lillington, North Carolina, 1894, wrote a successful Broadway play in Abraham's bosom, and did a stint in Hollywood, wrote many screenplays, and wrote a line that Betty Davis considered her favorite line, I'd like to kiss you, but I just washed my hair. And it was on this day in 1901, Vincent van Gogh's paintings were shown at the Bernheim June Gallery in Paris, the first major show for the artist who had committed suicide 11 years before. 71 paintings, all with Van Gogh's characteristic bright colors and textured brush strokes, made a big splash on the Parisian art scene. It's the birthday of Penelope Lively, born in Cairo, 1933. Her father worked for the Bank of Egypt. She went back to England for college, went to Oxford. It wasn't until she was in her 30s and both her kids were in school all day that she set out to write. She's published 25 books for children, including The Ghost of Thomas Kemp, about a boy who moves with his family to a cottage in the country haunted by a 17th century ghost. And then she started writing short stories for adults. Her book Moon Tiger won the Booker Prize in 1987. Here's a poem by Laura Foley. One day, I didn't read the news. I raked a rainbow of pungent autumn leaves, played abroad with happy dogs, held my granddaughter in my arms, and sat beneath an amiable maple, attentive to current events. A poem entitled One Day by Laura Foley from Why I Never Finished My Dissertation, published by Headmistress Press and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac. Funded by donations from listeners like you, now available on PRX for distribution by your local radio station. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.